you know, the first case in the medical literature, uh, there was a the classical schizophrenia. There was a patient named uh, James Tilly Matthews who ha had this, uh, he sketched out for his doctor the uh, experiences he was, he was uh, sensing. And he, he drew himself as a, a cowering figure on the ground controlled by a loom, a weaving device that was sending threads, long threads, projections across space from the loom to him, to his arms and to his body and controlling him from afar. Uh, and he called this the air loom, a loom in the air. And it was such an evocative thing because, you know, this was the start of the industrial revolution or, or mid, and it was where, you know, really industrial strength, you know, looms and weaving devices were really uh, kind of the emblematic of the most complex, powerful technological achievements of the time. And so that was the explanation available to him to explain how his body was seemingly moved without his volition. Uh, and these days, of course, people with schizophrenia will have more technology appropriate interpretations. They'll have a you know, delusions of satellite or alien control or, or beamed information, very, very common to have this delusion of a government agency, you know, sending electromagnetic or, or, or radio frequency information to control their limbs. But it's, this, it's the same thing. It's that whether it's a thread from an industrial revolution loom or, you know, RF, you know, radiation, it's the same thing, just adapted to the to the moment, explaining, trying to explain the world they live in and their relationship to the world. But unconstrained by sort of the thing that's socially acceptable, which right. is right. both refreshing and dangerous. Yes.